Let's uh, continue with that focus today. The first big public holiday of the December festive season was also a big test for beaches around the country. In KwaZulu-Natal, it's the first of a number of traditionally big beach days. But this year, due to COVID-19, beaches are closed. Let's find out a little bit more about how Durban managed today. And I'm joined by Philip Sitole, Deputy City Manager for Economic Development and Planning in the Etiquene Municipality. Uh, good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. So, Philip, are you happy with how the beach closure worked today? Were there any problems at all? Well, we are happy about how things uh, transpired today. Um, must be remembered that we've got the, the security services within the city that are very experienced in dealing with these kinds of uh, situations. But over and above that, we must thank the public for heeding to the call not to go to the beach today. Um, but we are also happy that the promenade was, was open and restaurants were, were open. So our visitors could actually entertain themselves by going to the restaurants and enjoy the promenade experience. Of course, tomorrow is a normal beach day, but that doesn't mean COVID has gone away. And certainly um, over this past week, we have seen here on ENCA people on the promenade not observing social distance, not always wearing their masks. Um, are you going to be managing that a little better? Well, um, that, is, I mean, if people are not uh, complying, that is wrong. And it's all in their hands. They must, they must comply. Otherwise, if they don't comply, then that is going to create even more challenges. So we would like to request people to, to, to comply. But I know that the, um, our metropolis and other security agencies uh, will be out to ensure that people are complying. But that could only be effective if, if people are, are really complying. If they are not complying, um, then that creates a problem, which... It's something that will not be good for tourism. We are all praying that um, everything must go well tomorrow and other days when the beach will be opened because the beach is the main attraction, is one of the main attractions for Deben. It's what makes people to come to Deben during this time of the year. So we encourage them to go out and enjoy themselves tomorrow, but um, they must re remember the restrictions and the COVID rules. Yeah, and I mean, this is, this is the real dilemma, of course. You know, um, uh, as you are uh, working with economic development and trying to revive the city, this is no easy task. You want people to have fun, but you also want them to stay vigilant about COVID-19. How is the economic recovery of the city progressing? Well, the recovery is progressing very well um, because we started to implement the recovery plan as, uh, from April this year. And the response uh, has been good. You know, at some stage, the city coffers were almost empty. I'm talking about a town municipality um, 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 uh, funds. But there was a, a time, uh, they say, I think it was September, October, where the collection was um, more than 100%. So that was a good sign that business is, is gradually coming back. And in terms of tourism, uh, numbers before these restrictions, which were announced on Monday, the numbers of people who had booked um, in the hotels were averaging around 75%. And I, I've been informed that there have been some cancellations, but the situation, this, the situation could have been worse. But we, we thank um, our visitors that they, they stayed positive mm. and, and numbers um, will improve. Uh, we, we are certain about the fact that numbers will improve. But I must say that we were expecting more than a million visitors before COVID. And now we are anticipating that visitors will be around 500,000 to 600,000 with a direct spend of 1.3 billion. Right. Yeah. And of course, it's not just health concerns. It's also uh, the fact that people just have less money to spend this year. Um, I spoke yes. uh, yesterday to a number of, uh, of health people and I spoke to Netcare, the private health care group, and they flagged mm -hmm. their extreme concern about COVID-19 numbers sharply on the rise in KwaZulu-Natal. We know it's not as bad as the Eastern and Western Cape yet, but they are saying it is coming on really rapidly. Now, if that does start to spike in the next few days, that might risk your beaches, and you may end up with closed beaches as well. Could you just update us on how concerned you are about what's going on with COVID-19 in, uh, in the metro specifically? We are very concerned about that, and the tourism industry is concerned. 
Um, and because this would then mean that many people during this time of the year who are working in the tourism sector, um, I mean, their jobs will be, will be shared and the income will be less and the hotel rooms book um, will, will decrease. So that is not a good sign. So we are very concerned about that. But it all depends on the behavior of, of people. So we are encouraging people to actually behave and uh, um, uh, be in line with, with COVID rules. But over and above that, I think it's important that we, the statements that we make, uh, they must not be statements that make people to be frightened and mm. decide not to go to tourist areas because that will not be good for tourism. No, exactly. I think the message that we, the message that we need to send out, uh, the message that we must send out is that Devon is, 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 is ready for tourists. Um, Devon is open for business. Uh, we've got all the plans in place to ensure that crowds are controlled. And um, in terms of um, experiences, people must remember that we are not only about the beach. Uh, Devon has more. I have to ask you very quickly uh, before I let you go about the situation in the hospitals. We've heard disturbing reports, and I think this is why the move to close Garden Root Beach has actually happened, that people had to be airlifted out of very full private and government hospitals over the weekend. How are your hospitals coping at the moment due to COVID-19? Is it still manageable, or are you at capacity? Well, uh, I must uh, uh, state it up front that that is not my area. Sure, I'm I know. the head of economic development and planning. But um, I think at the moment, according to the reports we received mm -hmm. in the COVID command uh, council um, uh, last week, um, the, the situation was still under control. And uh, I haven't heard um, a report that indicates that the, situa the situation has gone um, worse. Um, so, but I think health authorities are, are the ones who can give you full details about that. Mine is to encourage uh, people to say, besides the beach, uh, but people must know that the beach is only closed on certain dates, but on the other dates, the beach is open. They must come, enjoy the beach, but they must be responsible. Besides the beach, there are many other experiences within Devon, many other products that they can enjoy. Uh, so we're encouraging people that must go out and, and enjoy themselves, but obviously within the COVID rules. Absolutely. And it is such a very beautiful city. Absolutely love Durban. Thank you so much uh, for your time. That was uh, Philip Sitole, Deputy City Manager for Economic Development and Planning in the Etiquini Municipality. Now